You know how you're always talking about a night to remember, and I'm always talking about a night to dismember? Um, that sounds sexual, and uh, <laughs> this is my favorite um, non-porno that is a porno. <laughs> yeah. It totally is. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, you know, it's almost a snuff film, I think. Uh, it, it's like a faux snuff film. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, it's your favorite final girl and boy, Emily and Nick, uh, with your favorite uh, final babysitter, Mike. Hey, Yo. I'm coming at you hey. with a special episode of Gap Me With A Knife, a weekly podcast where we dissect, disembowel, and shred the best and worst slasher movies. Well, you'll notice this episode is uh, coming on a different day than our usual episodes. That's because uh, this is an episode we're doing exclusive for our, exclusively, exclusively for our Patreon members. Baby, baby. Our Patreon member, Travis Davis. Yo, Travis, what's up, man? Travis. Yeah, man. Travis. Uh, get down and get with it, man. Everybody else, too. Uh, he has requested that uh, we cover 1983's A Night to Dismember. Don't forget to sign up at uh, www.com. Www. Www. Patreon. Dot Patreon. Dot com <laughs> slash gag me with a knife podcast. Hold on, I had to write for, it. No, for I... member shout outs, just like we did. <laughs> early access to episodes that we can barely pronounce, bonus episodes, and the ability to request us to do an episode of a movie of your choosing, just like Travis did. And holler at Travis. We'll also be doing a prize drawing soon. So, uh, what the prizes are, we don't know yet, but they're going to get there. But uh, Emily knows. They're rare. But can Emily, somebody request, like, Steel Magnolias? No, have to watch no, it? no, it no. no a, I'm not going to fucking do somebody Steel Magnolias. Do it. Somebody do it, please. I'll, well, I'll Is there any much. horror movies that have well, to be an I mean, 80s slasher? I, love, like, I, I would do, like, Terminator, you know, but, like, whatever. But, like, no. She said she'd Class do it. Come high? That's going to be a bonus episode, so don't request any trauma. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, please, well, you can, you can request, request trauma, trauma, but we are for sure doing Class of Nukem High and Terror Firmer as bonus episodes, so don't request those. Surf Nazis must die. Wait, wait, I thought that I got to Class of Nukem High, or did I get Surf Nazis Now must we're die? doing all three. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, anyway. Oh, you want me to read the back of the box? Yeah, you're supposed to. Okay. <laughs> okay, by the way. Hold on, hold on. Now Emily's getting an original VHS. No, I don't. I don't actually. This is a DVD. Did this make it to VHS? Yeah, it did, but like, uh, I don't know what version. So where, so where is that? I want to show him what I wrote. It's www.patreon.com slash gag me with a knife podcast. But the way I wrote it out. <laughs> www. Why? Because I didn't know. That's if worse he, than uh, Because I didn't know if you know how to read it. <laughs> Do you remember the <laughs> I wrote out the word dot. Splatter University when I wrote out like 243. B, B slash C as because. <laughs> I, I didn't want to take a chance. He was going to say like back. Like, I didn't know. So. No, it's, okay. It's not Nick's fault. Really it's not Nick's fault, y'all. <laughs> it's my fault. <laughs> the fabulous. Well, I spelled it out. Remember that time I thought it was Casey the killer and not yeah. the coach the killer? <laughs> the, the fabulous queen of exploitation, Doris Wishman, is back. A Night to Dismember is a horror film that approximates the twisted logic of a narcotic lace carnal nightmare well facts it's a jaw dropping spectacle only Wishman could conceive the film stars hardcore legend Samantha Fox in her only uh, legitimate role Doris Wishman is a one woman gang who wrote produced directed and edited her films in her career spanning four decades she resisted the courtship of the major studios early on and the suppressing conventions of mainstream culture culture and easy critical classification throughout to produce one of the most idiosyncratic <laughs> worldviews ever committed to film. I wouldn't say that she resisted also making any money or making a good movie, but that's, you know. Hey, so. man, when you're making a porno that's not a porno, you have to, you know, do what you can. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, really, um, this episode could be done by just watching this uh, DVD because it's narr- the whole thing's narrated by one guy that does voices for everyone in the movie. But are you talking about Detective O'Malley? <laughs> well, and Adam Kent. It's the same guy. It's, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like an R. Kelly, like uh, trapped in the closet. Type well, of thing. it's kind of like uh, like when Bob, you know, famous kid Bob in the Italian the Fulci films. Are, are you are you 
you're talking and he's about? Fam- like, famous Robert? That little fucking kid that's annoying that's in all those Fulci films. And he's always dead by like a, a woman. <laughs> He's always dead by, like, a lady. I don't know. And, like, that fucking movie, Mano's Hands of Fate, how, like, it's only, there. there's, like, two different people dubbing the whole movie, but they're doing different characters. I don't know. It's what it reminded me of. Mano's Hands of Fate is, like, a famous bad movie that Mystery Sons Theater did. Okay. Anyway. All right. So, Mike. Get my hair did. So, yeah, we got a voiceover from Tim O'Malley. Uh, there's shots of a graveyard, but he's telling us in, um, on October 15th, 1986, also known as F- Blood, F- okay, Blood, o- by Bloody the way, October. F- 1986, this is, okay, this movie came out in 1983. Yeah. So, this is set three years in the future. It was filmed, though, in 1977. Now, I don't know if it was the version with Samantha Fox, because there are two different versions, um, but... Uh, so, like, she's setting this in the future for absolutely no reason. Yeah. Like, it's there's no, like, futuristic tie into this, but... But it's talking about how... And I think the Vicky stuff is 1986, but five years no, before that... No, 81 is when she killed the kid. Yeah. And, and, but when, when the story happens is 86, like, when she comes out of the hospital. But, okay, so we're going to start out... All these people are supposedly in the same family that die on this day. And on, it's on October different years, 15th. October 15th. And that's, he whatever. says that's the weirdest thing. And then he also says murder and the death. The like of two, October. He says murder and death like they're two separate things. But, On this episode okay. of Kojak. This is the travails of On the... On this episode of The Wonder Years. The Kent family. <laughs> yeah. And so so in these first couple scenes, this, okay, this is going to be way looser than normal because... This movie's weird. Yeah, it's going to be a lot shorter, The myth too. that I read was that there was an assistant on the production who burned the original film and that all this movie that we watched were outtakes that did make it in the original cut that's not no that's not no she had to redo it that that's that's the original that's the original re yeah wishman she that she had to redo it and that's why she got because samantha, samantha fox, fox. But that's why she, when she added Samantha Fox in, yeah. originally she wasn't in it. Now the other story is that that's not true, and she just used that as an excuse to redo the movie because Samantha Fox paid her two thousand dollars to be in the movie. Um, Either way, so, this movie's f- whatever. And the, the, so, and the whole movie <laughs> is over. the whole oh, yeah. movie is without sound and dubbed over. <laughs> And yeah. narrated over. And narrated over. Narrated over. Yeah. So Tim O'Malley. Is a detective. We Okay. So we got through that. Well, he he's tells, the one who's It's all the Kent yeah, family. Yeah, he's the story. So we've got a dad playing solitaire. And his name is Thinius, I think. And then there's a, yeah. a girl taking off her stocking in the At 10 bathroom. At 10 a.m. At 10 a.m. <laughs> Susan kills the girl in the bathroom with an axe. Her sister. That's her sister. In They're, the bathtub. That, those are her sisters because, or those, their sisters because, uh, uh, they think Susan killed Barbara because, because Barbara was daddy's Daddy favorite. Liked, yeah, yeah, daddy liked her more. Yeah. But Susan falls on her own axe and also dies. That's not how axes Presumably work. on October 15th. I guess, yeah. So then a different Kent gets home. And Robert we, or Roderick? We, I couldn't tell. We see his hot light wife Lola in the garden. But then she's de- also dead in a bathtub. But, and he kills himself well, because he confesses to having a he somebody tried an assassin try to kill her. He had an ex con killer for her money, and then he hung himself. So he we're, hangs himself. We're, we're just at the Kent curse right now. Yeah, and, this is this all is these deaths before happen the on movie. different October fifteenth, I guess. I don't know if this happened at all on October fifteenth, and also this movie, the the deaths in this movie, this all wasn't couldn't have been on the same day. And what's significant about October? Well, I mean, could this have happened in yeah. nineteen seventy seven? These first couples of murders i guess so it's presumably and again presumably in 1981 some boys are playing around in a ga- graveyard there's a girl no, kind of they're hiding. wrestling in a graveyard they're, they're chasing, palling around they're real chasing to a hard. crypt i have written basement but i think it still it's happens like a, in a graveyard. i think it's like a mausoleum they go or into a, yeah. a mausoleum or crypt and one kid gets killed when he is pushed into a nail that's sticking out of the wall and his huge spike pops out of his throat but before that's that before that it says that five years earlier october 15th 1981 81. that vicky the daughter of adam kent who is the brother of robert and thinius uh, those other two people thinius uh he's the, he was the oldest brother of them his daughter one of his two daughters was sent to a mental institution for killing these two neighborhood boys 
Which you're talking about right now. Yeah. Another one is killed with a knife. They gets wiggled around in the wound. And five years later now, Vicky Kent is getting out of an asylum. And her parents come to pick her up. And she's played she's by Samantha going, Fox, the Samantha porn Fox. actress. Not to be confused oh, yeah, with the, yeah, yeah. not to be confused with the Samantha Fox, who was a rock and roller from England, who was also in Streetwalkers. That's well, a different uh, you, Samantha you, Fox. You, if you see this woman, you can't confuse her. Yeah, they they look way different. <laughs> he was like, well, no, Mike was like, she's not that hot, and I was like, porn stars. It's been the, like they don't they, have to they be don't that age, hot. They don't age well. <laughs> they're, 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 I mean, like I'm not sure. No, but when hot. I was a kid and I was reading Rolling Nina Stone, Harley ain't what she used to be. There was a Samantha Fox on all these rock and roll T-shirts and posters, who she was had like songs, a buxom though. blonde. She had, she had like, and I thought songs. that's who we were talking about. No, this woman is nothing like that. Uh, yeah, no, Vicky's released and. Um, while they're like while she's being released they're talking about how her brother billy is concerned about her getting out and um like he wants to get her sent back and then she gets in the car and takes her mom's scarf and they, her mom's like stop putting on that scarf this <laughs> is the samantha fox that i'm talking about. yeah i know no that's not her different well, samantha we know that's yeah, different she was a recording artist so yeah They're vicky's the fucking same. losing it in this car ride yeah it says uh it there's says like twisty cam well there are a few things that they say like at the narration i'm not gonna it's tell like, my parents they're like he was she was gone for five years so now she doesn't understand how roads work like she doesn't understand their <laughs> why turns are why are the roads why do the roads have turns in them why is the grass green later on you know, it, that's, later on that's she, not that's not a bad question that's a very existential fucking well later on she doesn't use she she's lost the ability to why know how to eat food them. with a fork because she's been gone for five she's years. She's going I was ham like, on that ham, y'all. Uh, whatever. Anyway, so... You could eat everything with a spoon. But then the, we find out that... Well, the that, dad finally talks and it's the same voice as the narrator. Yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> but then we find out that Mary... That Vicky has a sister named Mary who also wants... Like who also wants Vicky to go back to the mental institution. So... Bill, so her both of her siblings are trying to figure out ways to get her sent back because they don't. Life's they don't want her so to be just so much out. better without Vicky. And I felt like <laughs> she's well, a porn see, star mom. Well, they do talk about how Mary. <laughs> she was them dirty films. They do. They do nasties. talk about how Mary was doted on. So they get home and we go to Vicky's room where there's a, a, a little postcard. There's a couch. <laughs> Man, I love the and Mona Lisa. Paneling. And a, but there's no beds. There's in a this headshot house. of uh, Frankie. <laughs> there's a headshot oh, yeah. of her. Of her old flame Frankie and then what's the other picture? Oh of the Mona, Mona Lisa. Lisa. <laughs> yeah. It's just like a postcard. And size. then like a and then like a shitty couch for so the, <laughs> that's her room. Your room's just like we They're kept like, it. Yeah, well, yeah, your so room's she's like terrifying. terrifying. But then there's like a cut and she's in her isolated her, no uh, windows. She's in a nightgown <laughs> and somehow she starts hearing Vicky, Vicky, and she goes into the closet and all these bloody hands start gripping her tits. Yeah. And they're still saying Vicky. And she comes back in and there is no blood on her, but you're led to believe that the brother and the sister actually did this. She thinks well, she's she going goes crazy. Back, she goes back to the room and she's like, must have just been my imagination. But the whole, but there's the no whole blood time, on her at the that whole time time the, the, the soundtrack is like a game show soundtrack. Yeah, I thought it was a, I thought it sounded like a commercial or so, like a porn. Then we see a it's like, it's like a different porno, game, game, porno game show. Then we see Vicky we and be, a lot of makeup. A, that's a fucking thousand dollar idea. <laughs> She's looking at the picture of Frankie in the living room now. The next day, I guess. Oh, but before that, before that, it shows Billy, and they're like, maybe Billy can get some ideas for how to get her back in the mental institution by looking in a newspaper. <laughs> like, what yeah. is he gonna find? And also, by the way, uh, I wrote this down because I thought it was funny. When it shows the uh, the newspaper that says that Vicky gets sent away for five years earlier, you know, when she kills the kids, there's this story right underneath her story about good being sent away that says teen survives rape and river finds a friend whoa maybe what? it's a beaver i was like what that's, what? that's fucking i befriended nuts. all the beavers that built the dam i was oh, like uh, okay i'd love to see a newspaper with that fucking like <laughs> so vicky's straight <laughs> clowning it up looking at her picture of frankie and her sister Rips up the picture of Frankie and says, that's my man now. So Vicky starts crying. She has the Tammy Faye Baker face yeah. uh, from all this makeup uh, cascading yeah. with her tears. So she goes outside. She's upset. Frankie. It looks like a Lee Jeans ad because it, it like sticks on her pants it for a long her a time. Booty. Yeah. 
But uh, Frankie comes up while she's sitting on a bench, and they start making out and holding hands and stuff. Well, Mary she goes, sees she, this. She goes, she goes, I'm well now. But when she says it, she, it's she, she looks crazy well as, now. She's crazy no, as yeah. fuck. Vicky, like, Vicky is well now. So, yeah, like I said, Mary's been watching them. Vicky got but well. But then Frankie is somehow with Sandy, a Who different is his, I think lady. It, I think that's just his girlfriend, because she's like, "Where? why were you with the Kent sisters? She's like, I was just having a good time with those girls. She was just having a good time. He doesn't, he doesn't love the Kent girls. No, he's just like, I'll just, no, whatever. So they hear a noise, I think after they fuck, and then Frankie goes to see what's happening. We hear heavy breathing, and there's another cat jump scare, because every horror movie needs a cat jump scare. He gets scared, but there's nothing there. He goes back, uh, and Frankie tapeworm? we see a ghost hand. It looks like a ghost hand. We see I don't a ghost think it hand. Supposed, it Is it supposed to be? I think it was supposed to be Mary, but yeah. Vicky, Mary. Or, yeah, yeah we Mary. find out. We think it's Vicky, yeah. but it turns out it's Mary. Yeah. There's a fake, fucking fake looking hand. And uh, then Frankie gets decapitated on the bed. And then we see a ghost head on the fire, but that turns out to be Sandy's head. Yeah, it's not a ghost head. It's just a Somebody calls poorly. the cops. And he, the cop O'Malley, Detective O'Malley, goes over to Sandy's house, I think, and finds these heads. One on the bed and one and, uh, Sandy's in, the fire. in the fire. Yeah. And then we see uh, Vicky, Vicky going eating. crazy eating ham and <laughs> yeah. cheese. And then she kind of threatens her dad with a fork. Mary's and... really pissed off before that and gets up and leaves that like Sandy is or Vicky isn't eating the way she should be eating. Then we see a And then Billy, Billy says she should just go back to the mental institution because she, she can't know how to use eat. a fork or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> She's just picking up pieces of ham. And... But, yeah, she does like get it and like do something That's with her I head. Eat. But then she's like, I'm going to go visit my uncle Sebastian. Dude, that that meal yeah. looks horrible. Oh, it looked awful. Fucking, they they were having like ham and cheese cut. sandwiches. It looked like spam. That, it, that, that, that looked like government ham. That's a good cap of coal. I didn't, cool. didn't like see any of that. It didn't look like Hillshire Farm ham. No, it's nothing. definitely not boar's head. <laughs> 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 so she goes to visit it's her not. uncle Sebastian Which but is, she rings I guess, the bell and he tells her to go away and then he tells these two women that are at his house like oh that was Vicky and they're like yeah all those kids are crazy Vicky's standing there at the door crying so she, he says yeah it's Mary, Billy and Vicky are all crazy and so then yeah she goes then home Vicky and goes tattles back home yeah she and tattles she's, I think Sebastian. she's crying to her mom and no, Mary she's, t- she's just telling Mary her mom comes up to the door her mom hears it and then she just walks away because she doesn't give a shit. <laughs> like, yeah. she just, like, listens. But, yeah, Vicky's telling Mary that, this, like, Sebastian This is when the crazy. red rain clouds yeah, show it's up. Like, and we see Uncle Sebastian yeah. and the two women get murdered with a hatchet, including Uncle Sebastian's heart getting ripped out and thrown onto some kind of lawn. This lady's just laying. I think it's his wife is the one laying on the ground. The aunt is laying yeah. on the ground. She just lays there for a few minutes until she gets her head run over by Mary in the car. That effect um, is awesome. Then yeah. she starts axing the fingers like a lot. She's yeah. just chopping, chopping, chopping. I was like, when she, I was confused. There it shows I was like, that it's Mary at this point. Yeah, it does show that it's Mary. We just see like a girl shadow. It's like, it does is show this that Vicky? it's Mary. It does, yeah. Yeah. But I mean, uh, up to the point. Of, and then she chases the third woman. Yeah, she chases her and kills her, and there are lots of axe falling. Yeah. It, hatchet. It's a small axe. Yeah. And this is when she gets the, the head stuck on the head of the axe, and she can't get oh, it off. She's, like, swinging it around and in the air. Somehow the cop finds out that Uncle Sebastian and the two women were married. And... Uh. The two, he wasn't married to the two women. Or he, murdered. murdered. I, said, I was like, <laughs> yeah, they all three got married. No, I don't know got, who that third woman they got was. Killed. But she was like the maid. I just made that up. Well, I don't know. Maybe the, so but the cop. The cop somehow know. finds out. Mom gets mad at Vicky for, for some wearing reason. Mary's clothing. It's for wearing Mary's clothing. So Vicky goes to the lake, and this guy her brother uh, yeah she can't she figure that you out can't, but you can't tell it's him i no, couldn't he, tell it was I, him he's a mud man yeah comes and out of the water and just starts chasing her chases her <laughs> And then there's some hands grabbing at her, but they don't have mud on them. And then, I think that's just her mental illness. Well, the, then he just returns to his swamp. <laughs> Once she's scared, he just goes back to the lake. <laughs> yeah. But he's then 
Well, she goes home and she's tripping the again. The room's like Everything's turning. Everything's fucking turning yeah. around, upside down. She's just tripping and it's, these, it's just somebody's <laughs> flipping around a camera a little bit. Oh, somebody, but then we find out. Then party. we see Billy talking to Mary in the, in the so, bathroom. Yeah, and he's I thought like, he went back in the lake to wash off he's, the mud. No, he goes he's home washing and his, washes off the mud. He's washing his face off. and Mary's talking to him. Yeah. But she... Vicky cannot hear what they're saying. Vicky, Vicky can hear him. Vicky knows that he chased her, but he can't. She didn't hear what Mary said. Which is like, I'm killing all these people trying to blame it on Vicky. And then, <laughs> but the, she didn't hear that. And then, she's like, like Mary the, would never do anything. The to detective's hurt me. like, I tried to get a hold of the kids, but they wouldn't see me. And I was like, Well, you're well, a detective. So I don't. The dad calls Billy into the living room or into the kitchen. Like, I mean, he tries to get Billy can, to be nice. Billy's like, I'm gonna steal. He, Billy steals money from the dad's wallet and says he's going to go mask shopping so he can really scare uh, Vicky. The cop tries to see the family, but the mom comes to the door, and then the dad comes to the door, and they're just like, ah, he'll go away. Yeah, they lock it. They just lock it. I'm just like, you know you're a detective. You can make them talk to you. But then the cop <laughs> finds Vicky outside, and he's that's like, is this your works. scarf? The cop finds Vicky on a bench. Because that's where men find Vicky. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like is yeah. this your scarf? Turns out he she didn't runs. have to see the parents because she's been sent outside the whole time anyway. She so. runs home and he watches her stripping for him. She knows he's there. But even though she just ran away from this guy, <laughs> she then puts he's on a, narrating the whole thing. He puts on a strip tease. She and puts on a strip tease and he's he like, likes man. It. He likes but it. But a dog starts well, barking, he so he runs she away. He knows that he's there. So yeah, he, he is watching. Does. And like, so like, yeah, he's narrating this thing. And he's like, and then Vicky stripped for me. And then he enjoyed it until Vicky played he, Misty for me. He gets scared because he hears some dogs barking and he runs away. And she is very upset that he's not there anymore. And then yeah. that, that's when they had, there's that weird psychedelic sex dream. That, that shit never happens. Yeah. Every time I'm looking in windows. I have a, there's a cloudy psychedelic sex dream, which turns into a watery psychedelic sex dream. And it's her vision. And Billy's yeah, getting dressed. Sloppy. So then Billy's, Bi- Billy's dressed, dressed up as a weird old <laughs> as zombie. A weird old man. He looks like burial ground. You ever seen burial ground? They get where they learn the kid that Less looks green. like a. He, he looks oh, yeah, like a that, he, he bites the he bites his mom's tit yeah but he looks like he's like 42 yeah <laughs> the, famous yeah. Italian actor yeah so he Billy's looks like Peter Boyle or there's this really funny uh, close Boyle. up of Peter her mouth Boyle. he doesn't look like Peter while she's Boyle. screaming <laughs> she, so he kind of chases her around the room but and the cop's watching her sleep neck well, well, oh is that uh, next okay. it, well there's a weird hand which anytime I see weird hands grabbing her I would just imagine that she's imagining that but she she, she goes back. She, she goes right back to time. bed, and then the cop shows up again. He's like, "I had to go back. There was something about Vicky," and he's just watching her sleep. He's just <laughs> that would watching have been a better name sleep. for the movie. There, there was something about Vicky. <laughs> then they, then, then there's a pinwheel dream. Something about Mary what, with negative no. vision, and this is Mary's <laughs> dream. That movie. <laughs> Mary starts dreaming that her mom and dad and Billy are all killing her over and over. Uh, yeah, Mary's dreaming. This. Like five yeah. minute dream sequence of them using this false is stilettos. Um, I started getting phone calls. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> started getting phone calls. This is when stuff gets real fun. I from, just, from I have, one of my notes just says confusing. <laughs> so Mary, Mary wakes up screaming, and the mom tries to wake up what you think is the dad, but he has long hair. But Adam's bald. Adam the dad is bald. <laughs> the mom is trying to wake up this this creature with long gray hair. It doesn't work. But is then it we Billy see it, then we see the dad looking like he just got done with his. Was it was she getting? Is this dream because she's getting molested by her father, Mary? I think maybe because it turns out she's the killer. Was... Something's up. Um, but the dad is outside of her room and just tells her it was just a dream. Go back to bed. And then at the same time, Billy's pulling this blood prank. He's putting fake oh, blood, he puts blood on the sink. On the sink to get Valerie sent back. And, and this then, really. But, but the parents think that Vicky's back to her old, old tricks, aka murdering. So Adam Kent, the dad, uh, wants to talk. He calls O'Malley. He calls O'Malley and he's like, I need you to come over now. But the power goes out. And, and, I, then and then the mom and dad like can't just find you. Dad. Dad. <laughs> She's the back up to her old tricks, murdering, call O'Malley. <laughs> yeah. Power's but, out. <laughs> and then the power goes out, and the mom and the they're dad can't find for, each other. They're yelling for each other. They're yelling for each other. They don't know how, like, uh, uh, like public servants Adam, work. Blanche. <laughs> they can't find each other in their own house. <laughs> 
I don't. I, I said Adam and his wife can't find each other. So I wrote big lightning. There was really big lightning. But the dad gets stabbed soon after that. So the dad grabs a hammer and he's like looking around, and, but then somebody stabs him from behind in the throat. And, and then mom, we see and then the Billy mom confused. hiding from a girl shadow. Um, and then there's an axe shadow and then she gets the shit chopped out of her and there's like blood splattering over the, all over the sheets. Like it's some kind of, uh, like some kind of science experiment. It's only a minute later that Billy gets hit. So Billy so. finally hears this. It's like, he didn't even notice that the power was out and his parents were calling for each other, but and he Billy hears something. This. He's like, I hear something. And then he's running through a forest <laughs> <laughs> and he gets hit in the back of the head with a rock, dragged to a pit, and then buried alive in that pit. Oh, okay. I just thought he was hacked. Uh, no, he he was a, it was it was just a really big rock to the back of the head. Okay. But we then we see Mary wiping blood off her face, and she explains that she did it all. And Valerie, to who? Or Vicky, I almost called her Valerie. Vicky is innocent. Wait, she's she, just saying this because it's a voiceover. Is she saying she's saying it to nobody? Okay. Yeah, she's just like. <laughs> Vicky's innocent. And then we hear voices <laughs> calling Mary, like there were voices calling Vicky earlier. <laughs> and she opens a hat box where she hears these voices come from, and it's her own head in the hat box. See, I thought it was uh, Vicky's <laughs> it head. It was her own head. But I was also... It. it even in the voiceover says, and there was her own head, but you were on the phone. <laughs> yeah, I, was like, I, I had to take a phone call. <laughs> you were busy. Time. So Vicky goes to the cellar, and we see this weird psychedelic red screen voice thing happening that turns blue but then she's like okay she's okay it seems like she goes outside she's walking to the river lake whatever and she starts seeing all of these murders that she's done and she's scared of herself <laughs> because she's the fucking murderer she's like <laughs> She, they, they called them demons, but these aren't ghosts or anything. It's just like, oh, yeah, I killed all those people I know. <laughs> and there's this weird skull rock that keeps put, like showing up. She's just wandering around, and then she finds a skeleton hand and goes back home. When O'Malley shows up and sees all the blood, but I guess Vicky was home. Vicky's oh, holding he, a well, he, opened, he opens the fridge. And oh, the and the dad, dad falls out. The dad's inside of the fridge. Yeah. I don't think he actually falls out. He just sits there looking creepy. Dad's in the fridge. Somehow no, the mom's he... had her eyes burned. Or... Daddy's in the ice box. <laughs> he find... The cop, O'Malley, then finds the eyeless mom. And somehow, this is right when Vicky, who I didn't even know was home, she finds the hatchet, picks it up, sees that there's blood on it, touches her face, and now she's got blood on her face. Oh, no. So then we go to somehow a different building where O'Malley is chasing. I think it's supposed to to be the same I think it's supposed it's to be the a big house, house but there are signs there are signs like, on the door that are like emergency exit but it shows the same shot of them running up the stairs to make it look like there are multiple floors but they go up too same, many stairs a, yeah and I wrote Vicky kills O'Malley but she doesn't she's just you think attacking she, she, him no she does hack at him. she hacks at him she does she because kill it, him he him. talks about how it takes he him a while to get her. I expect it. him to die after he strangles her but in city says it took me three months for those but he strangles evil. her in like two seconds it takes a long time to strangle somebody to death yeah that's like this. it's strangle. notoriously like a crime of passion and one of the most horrendous ways to do it even though it's not like gr as gruesome because it takes so long to do it yeah, it takes like three like minutes or something seconds. yeah it, yeah how do you know that because Duh, I watch a lot true of true crime. crime. Oh. I knew that too. But okay, so then we because see... you like to see you like to look at the darker sides of, of life, Michael. Most evil was <laughs> good. To, Most evil was a good time. true crime show. This is before that, the true crime fade, uh, fad. It was you know, yeah, this no, was it, way no, before it was, Last it was, House on the Left. It was so a fad. It was a fad murder. at the time, and it was and near the same time that you were about we're to change your life, ID. Michael. <laughs> Most evil with Michael. That his name is Michael something. Okay, so <laughs> we see somebody putting the hatchet in a briefcase. Oh, it's Mary. She leaves the house. She's walking past the cathedral. She scares some guy that's trying to pick her up just by looking at him. And then, He's like, oh, you're, shit, this bitch is the crazy. Narration. I don't know the steps of girl. You're getting the narration. Yeah, you do. <laughs> you're getting the narration right here that... Um, that uh, 
Uncle they Mally. didn't. O'Malley found out all of this because they, everyone kept diaries. But yeah. also, O'Malley, O'Malley. O'Malley found Mary's but also diary there were also finger fingerprints prints everywhere. So he knows it was Mary, and he doesn't even really feel bad that he killed Vicky. But then we see some shot of Uncle Sam in a painting with an axe, and it's like, oh, that's funny. But she gets in a cab. Mary, Mary gets in a <clears> cab, <throat> she kills the taxi driver, and disappears. And it's like an unsolved mysteries episode ending. He's like, if you have any information <laughs> about the whereabouts of Mary. Kent, yeah, it's like please Ma- call Ma- the police. Texas Shinsa, uh, Ma- Ma- Clary Kent. That's the end of the movie. I was watching. Uh, I've been watching. Old it was Robert a brisk Stack sixty-nine episodes. minutes. I enjoyed the length of it, but um, so I have a little bit. Of tri- <laughs> I bet you did. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, okay. Every episode. So I do have a little bit of trivia, but I think I already said it. So it was shot in nineteen seventy-seven, but I don't know which version because the original version did not have Samantha Fox in it. So Doris Whitman said that a disgruntled editor got rid of like almost all the footage that's why they had to redo it and dub all this stuff but the other side of the story is that that's not true that Samantha Fox who was a big porn actress paid uh, Doris Whitman two thousand dollars to be in the She's movie kind of small so she reshot the movie because of that Anyway, so whatever. That's wait, all the trivia. Are we so. supposed to be doing the kill count first? Yeah, I'm I have like, more. Well, okay, I, I, okay, so let, Billy, Billy was in Plutonium Baby and Phantom Brother. And I do dude, think we Plutonium should. Plutonium Baby rules. Well, I do think we should talk about Doris Wishman. Her first movie came out in 1960. Her second movie, Nude on the Moon, is 1961. She Nude did Diary the of a Nudist, Playgirls International, Bad Girls Go to Hell. Oh, man. Um, she's a very. Um, and. Yeah, Night to Dismember was one of her last movies. She did something in 1975 called Satan Was a Lady. 2002's Dildo <laughs> Heaven. Awesome. Dildo, Dildo Heaven. Dildo Heaven. That's awesome. Okay, see, I think she, that's posthumous. She reminded me of Roberta Finley. That's who I was trying to look up. She did, we did, we did one of her movies. Blood Sisters was one of her movies, okay. but she was mainly an exploitation uh, director, like female director. Uh, and her husband would make movies with her but he died uh by getting a helicopter wait are they the ones that did um gator bait uh well i I don't i don't know maybe but uh he did ruffy i don't know ruffies but like he he was killed by uh a helicopter accident his his head got um was it the john landis twilight zone thing like I'm that, thinking about think. the Beverly and Ferd. They were slashed to death as the spinning rotors detached and disintegrated. Oh. So, uh, but Damn. yeah, Kobe. So yeah, I mean, <laughs> Damn, <laughs> fuck. Too soon. Uh, no, fuck you all. But R- Roberta Finley, they reminded me of her because she did snuff. She did that movie oh, snuff. The movie snuff. And okay. she also did some pornos. Um, Hell Body yeah. of a Female Tenement, The Oracle, Shauna, Blood Sisters is one that we've covered. I'm just glad there were a few female exploitation directors. Well, yeah, there's You don't think about it often. No, that's awesome. But uh, he directed uh, the Yeti slasher movie, Shriek of the Mutilated. Wait, this is Finley, not Wishman. <laughs> yeah, her okay. husband. Um, Shriek, Shriek of the Mutilated? I think I might have seen that. The Slaughter? I don't know. Curse of her flesh and something, I don't know. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Sex so kill, and kill, kill. Violence. I'm not gonna do the. T- I'm Sex not gonna do the times on this because. Holy, help me, don't draw a mess. <laughs> I didn't have an issue with the kills on this or the length of this movie. So this one confused me less than some other recent movies we covered. This is the most art house movie we've covered so far. Pff, I, I don't thought know, it I was call it art house. The most art house. I thought the gore was. The gore was nice and good. explicit. It was like Herschel Gordon Lewis style. Yeah, it but was. But less red. So, one, we've got Bonnie. The, okay, the first six are Flashbacks. before are before the, you know, the 1986. So, one is Bonnie. She's hacked by Susan. Two is Susan. She falls on the axe. Three is Lola. That's not real. Yeah, three is Lola. We don't really know how she's killed, but she's killed by the con art, like the person, like that Were her husband. Were these Mary? Did Mary do this as like... An eleven year old, ten year old. Who's Mary? No, 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 no. Mary the killer. No, Bonnie killed Susan. This isn't. This is. Yeah. This is just a brother. This is just the family. Yeah, this curse. is family. Okay. So uh, this like a family curse. So four is uh, Lola's husband. I didn't know if it was Robert or Roderick, but he hung himself after admitting to you know planning his wife's you know murder or whatever. Well, yeah. Number five is the boy in the cemetery. Number one, nail through the throat. 
Six says, boy, in the cemetery, number two, knife through the throat. Seven is, uh, seven and eight are Frankie and Sandy decapitated. Nine is Uncle Sebastian hacked and heart taken out. Ten is Aunt, the, uh, his wife. I we didn't get her name. She's run over. Her head's run over. And then her ha- fingers are hacked off. It's like blood diner shit. Eleven is the third, the, the other woman with them, B. Smith or something. And she's hacked and decapitated. Uh, Twelve is Adam Kent, who's stabbed in the throat. Thirteen is the mom. I didn't get her name. Uh, who's ha- it's a uh, Blanche. Blanche. She, if she's hatched to death. Hatched. Yeah. Fourteen. Like an egg. Fourteen is uh, Billy with a rock to the head and buried alive. Uh, Fifteen is Vicky, who is strangled by O'Malley. Vic. And then sixteen Vicky. is the cab driver. And all, so Vicky. all of these deaths after the boy in the cemetery were done by Mary, except for Vicky, who was killed by O'Malley. I love you, Vicky. And Mary is still missing, so if anyone... <laughs> If yeah, anyone has any information. Yeah, Don't give your phone number out. Uh, that wasn't my... Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> I think I was talking over give, it. So. Give him a call, ladies. Yeah. You're always talking all over everything. Well, good thing hey, I, I was meaning podcast. to. I was meaning to on boss, that. Boss, don't hurt me, boss. <laughs> don't talk my pay. <laughs> I've been a bad boy. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. What I mean, story? Do you give this, Nick? Uh, I give it a one. Mike? Oh, I'm gonna. I feel bad. I mean, I'm also gonna give it a one. I'm giving it like a 0.5. I I mean, mean, there were the psychedelia was really cool. Parts of the score were fun. Travis doesn't expect us to like love this movie. I think he had just gotten it too. So I mean, I think it'll be okay. I like the other Samantha Fox better. I'll take the 80s. Blonde, I, I blonde mean, Samantha I don't think anyone's it. supposed to watch this movie and be like, well, what a fucking piece of... It's no plan nine. Is it Travis or Travi? Travi. 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 Okay, so stay gagged on uh, uh, Patreon. Stay gagged on... <laughs> Stay going on anything Samantha Fox ever did because classic porn is really fucking good. Uh, so here's the weird thing. She's saying so like, modern porn is just clips. Classic porn had a story, even though nobody cared about it. They have it's, stories no, now if you buy them. No, 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 really no, 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 no. Nobody this. cares about that, and the stories aren't as good. They're all like stepmother and stepsons. It, it's weird, man. Wait, um, but it's the not day, all. No, 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 have no, you no, been no. looking at my I history? No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not all. No, 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 Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, there's no bush anymore. What the fuck? Uh, that's not what I'm talking that's about. That's not reality. That, that, I don't care about that. that that's superfluous to what I'm talking about. An hour to get off. I don't need to watch a whole damn movie for it. No, it no, took no, me an no, hour no, to spread no, that no, carpet. No, bush, no, it might take me an hour no, to find the no, right no, no, video. No. Well, I mean, think about it. <laughs> think about it in the American lexicon of these used to be. They used to be dirty uh, film theaters, and there's not anymore. And is that uh, one of your old bands, American Lexicon? Uh, no. No, that's a real. Isn't that the name of a Germs album? No, Lexicon Devil is the name of a Germs. Song. Oh, yeah. song, but uh, no, 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 yeah, no, no. It's like we got. Give give no, I give like me. 80s. I, I like it. I have. I own Deep Throat and I own Throbbing Hood yeah. from the 80s. My, but, but I mean, even before that, I had a bunch of porn like, from Andy, the 80s. Andy like World, no, Andy <laughs> World's like Blue Movie or like uh, The Devil and Mrs. Jones. I and, used to own that, but I gave it to Brandon yeah, and, as a uh, present. What's on the good ones? Stay gagged on classic porn. Stay gagged on ham. the box. Going ham on the ham. And uh I love you, Nick. Yeah. I love you too, man. I don't I love to... you, Dennis Smith. <laughs> yeah, hey man. Dennis and Smith and Travis. Right. Travis yeah. now entered is it into the Dennis? Realm. So Dennis Smith well, what, Dennis is, is, the OG. is also a Patreon member, but he oh, but this is sorry, for Travis. This is Tra- this is Travis's episode though. I didn't mean to call you Dennis this, Travis. This one's for Travis. Oh, Travi. Travi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are we sure it's Travis? Stay gagged on psychedelic red clouds, man. Yeah, because we know it's about to rain. Can I say something else about porn? 
Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> what, what I meant about it Step is that. Uh, what? <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, it used to be on sale. It used to have stories, man. <laughs> okay. All right, stay gagged on that. Uh, Travis, search, yeah, Travis Davis. Hey, hey, Travis, yeah. Travis. Uh, look up. Uh, Hope you're listening too, Christy Dennis. Cannon, Nina Hartley, uh, Ginger Lynn. Uh, you know, early stuff. Well, and th- you know, this isn't just a Patreon. Ex- Are we ever gonna do things with Ginger Lynn? Is Ginger Lynn in a horror movie? Yeah. I guess oh she's God. Just, Have you so, never heard of things? No. Anyway, oh, uh, although this Straight is this shitty, is yo. a this is something we're doing. Sp- special that's coming out on a different day it is available for everyone it's not just a patreon exclusive so if you want us to do a movie for you uh go to www.patreon.com slash gag me with a knife podcast and sign up and uh we'll be doing a prize pick out later as soon as soon as we get to 10 members we'll do a prize thing and we got now too all, all the porn stars I yeah. mentioned Eight earlier, more. they're all free on, on porn. Well, we have three porn. if you consider three. me. I'll sign up. And Nick will <laughs> no, sign no, up. So we're no, using five more. Care. Just five more. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, yeah, so um, there you go. We're... We're all gagged out. Wait, I can't win the prize just because I'm on the podcast? No. Man, that's some cool <laughs> shit. There's some you, cool shit, also, man. Well, there is cool shit. Stuff but you can already, Don't, you don't can spoil already the surprise. Take, well, it's going to be more than this shit, but you can already take all that stuff if you want. Like the button. I'll take everything. Sticker. Pay Not us. all of it. But. I think what Emily means is pay us. No, I am really going to do a, a, a prize drawing and it's going to have some rare slashers. But only shit. for people that pay us. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm not just going to do it for anybody. A little but. behind the scenes for y'all. Yeah, so uh, we'll see y'all next time. This is Friday, but, you know, we're usually on on Wednesday. So uh, hit us up. We'll do a movie for you like this. See you, Magnolias. No, I'm gonna do I it. will never do that because fuck Julia Roberts. I was so glad when she fucking died. Toxic oh. Avenger. Dude, Julia Roberts is still alive. Well, well, when she died in the, movie. Mean, in the movie. Sorry, what's her name in the movie? Who cares? Uh, because they're like, get her juice. Because <laughs> she has diabetes. That's why she dies. I'm a Weezer. I'm a Weezer fan. Right. Yeah, what's her fucking name though? I uh, fucking Essie or <laughs> Bessie or Dead. Boots. Not as good dead as Sally Fields. Not as good as what? Sally Field. I thought you. Well, Sally Field's in no, it. No, man. Well, yeah, McClane. but Sally Field gets like the big like uh, Oscar. She said, performance. "I was there." She buries Julia. She Roberts. was like, "I was there when she came into this are world, st- and I held her hand, and she <laughs> went out." Are, are we still recording? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I'm trying to find her name. Yeah, I've never Fuck seen her. Fried Green Tomatoes. Maybe we could cover that. Oh, Fried that Green out. Tomatoes oh, is good. Is um, that the one? I'm thinking no, my left not. foot. I love Fried Green Tomatoes. Shelby. Shelby, Shelby. Oh here, shit! Here, it is Shelby. Shelby. Her name was Shelby. Okay, anyway. Shandle or Shelby, well, some rich. Hey, that's fucking got Daryl Hannah, who was also in the Final Terror. Yeah, that yeah. doesn't mean we're we're not going to do non horror movies. Oh, so crap. Fuck all. I mean, unless it's revenge. I, I'll do revenge. I of the wasn't Earth. on the show when Nail Gun Massacre got covered. Could we? Could I pay for us to read Nail Gun Massacre and <laughs> no, it, it'll get the pay, love that it gets? You can pay for us. You to can read. pay me to rewatch it. You could pay for us to redo pieces. I, I would totally. I had do to that. take it down because Nick was too drunk and too, fucking too like drunk. ruined it. Hey, <laughs> like wasted <laughs> as shit. Pieces is so good. I had to take that it down sucks. though. Sucks. Yeah, let's do pieces. It'll be like a boxing match. All right, guys. Ding, we're, ding, we, ding, we've ding. got to stop recording. Okay, right. see y'all later. Ciao. i
just talk to me If I could just call you on the phone Would you give one more chance to a fool Oh, Vicky 